Hello everyone and welcome to a weekly message from Jesus. Each week we try to bring you a non-denominational message of truth and love from our Lord. It is good for all religions, so if you know anyone, please suggest that they listen to us. Without any further delay, Father, do you have a message for us? Yes, I do. Each week I appear to you and bring you a different message. This week I would like to talk to you about family. A strong family structure can do more for helping humans to lead good and normal lives. It helps them to understand that I truly do exist. There are many places today where family structures are being torn apart. In your inner cities, poverty is creating a situation where many mothers have got to raise their children alone. They have to go out and get jobs to support the, the family and they leave the children by themselves to their own devices. Quite often these children do not become educated. They skip school and they do things like join gangs, sell drugs, become addicted themselves, and all of these things undermine the evolution that you humans need to do in order to prove that you are advanced and that you can become part of the civilized structure of planets that are in my galaxy. Many are telling individuals that I do not exist. I need for all of you to tell your families that I truly do exist. I have brought you many of the blessings that you have among you. A happy family is one of the best blessings that you can ever have. If the father does not shoulder responsibility for the children, then the family structure will fall apart. When that happens, there is no guidance. Guidance will be the strength that helps lead your country to the level of understanding of my teachings that is required for you to advance. When a husband leaves the family, it is a sin that will be repaid in karma when they return. In many instances, it is possible to separate or divorce and remain friendly and attempt to help raise the children that were sired in the relationship. That is fine. I do not intend for you to stay in bad relationships. There are times that husband and wife should split. You lead a fairly long life and it is important that you are happy in that life. Many times people marry that had no business getting married. They have no interest in common and they're not really real friends. The key to a long relationship is that your mate has to be a friend of yours. You can have a passion, you can have love, but all of those things may perhaps fail as you grow older. Having your, uh, having your mate as your best friend will preserve the relationship for many, many years. Barry and Connie are an example of that. They have been together now for over 60 years and they are truly their own best friends. They have a good relationship and they have dedicated themselves to bringing my words to you. What I need to you to do is, is focus on how you can have a better family relationship. In many instances, there are individuals in a family that show greed. They may actually steal from family members, but be assured that that will be part of their judgment when they return home. If you know someone that has a family that is failing, 
go to them and ask if there's anything you can do to help. In many instances, the family will have a hard time making ends meet and requiring and having the funds to do proper, a proper education for the children. Make sure that the children stay in school. Education is the most important thing that they can have. If an individual is not educated, he cannot find work. If he cannot find work, you, they will have a serious problem supporting themselves. I see that in many instances today, the children are remaining living with the parents. This is because it is very difficult today to find proper employment. It is difficult to find jobs that pay enough to keep up with your rising inflation. I watch your country as its prices rise and become inflated and the purchasing power of the family is diminished. You need to tell your elected representatives that inflation is one of the, of the, is one of the most dangerous situations under which your culture can attempt to grow. There are many people with great wealth. Hopefully those people will help others and use that wealth to a good ends. I would like to see those people invest in counseling centers to help families. They could use their money to show families how they can have second jobs that do not interfere with raising the children. They can show families just what is required to have a lasting relationship. Many people rush into marriage without truly understanding the responsibilities that come with it. If you continue to have a large family, then you have a responsibility to care for it. That care can last many, many years. If you have children over a 20-year lifespan, it will consume almost 40 of your years to raise that family. So remember, the family structure is the key to having the individuals on your planet continue to prosper and to continue to function. If the family structure is destroyed, you will not be able to function as a country. There are many pe evil people out there that truly understand this. That is why they are doing what they can to destroy the family structure. There are many out there that hate the countries that practice democracy. They are trying to destroy the family structure. They will teach things in your schools that will make the children have second doubts about the way that their family is being raised. They will spend money to undermine the basic foundation upon which your country and all other democratic countries have been built. That foundation is education, belief in God, and using the, electric, the elected representatives to do what is best for the people. I want you to do this. I want you to look for individuals with a weak family structure and attempt to perhaps guide them, uh, maybe offer some babysitting services, but do what you can to improve the family structures around you. In later life, you will need family members to help support you through your final years. If you do not help preserve the family structure, then you will not have people to support you. Loneliness in your final years is a very difficult thing. I want you to think about that. 
I want you to assure that you have a strong relationship with other members of your family that will help support you in your final years where you may be suffering from different diseases, perhaps dementia, all of the things that you selected in your life plan when you returned. The key to a strong family structure is following my words. If you show anger with your wife or husband and the children see that anger, then they feel that that anger is the way of life. If you show love towards each other, then your children will see that and they will feel that love is a very good thing. In order to succeed, you must be able to show love to others, treat them with honesty, and do what is required in order to have individuals thrive. Once again, I cannot tell you enough how important a family is. There are those of you out there that speak against me. There are those out there that try to destroy family structures. Know that when you return, you will face a judgment for what you are doing. The karma that you create in this lifetime will continue into your future lives. So once again, I'm going to leave you. I bless all of you that are listening, and I truly bless all of you that are trying to support family togetherness and to spread my words. So, I will be back again next week. I will have another message for you. God bless and goodbye. Thank you, Father. Another very, very strong message. You can see all of his messages on our YouTube channel. It's in my name, Barry Strom. I suggest that you go back and listen to many of them. They're short. This was the 31st message that we've brought to you. So we will be back next Wednesday. Thank you for listening to us. Please pay attention to the words that he is speaking. Help strengthen your family structure. Help spread his words. And things will be much better for you. So goodbye.